The topics and opinions expressed in the following show are solely those of the hosts and their guests and not those of W4CY Radio, its employees, or affiliates. We make no recommendations or endorsements for radio show programs, services, or products mentioned on air or on our web. No liability, explicit or implied, shall be extended to W4CY Radio, its employees, or affiliates. Any questions or comments should be directed to those show hosts. Thank you for choosing W4CY Radio. Welcome to the Ask the Expert show on W4CY Radio and Talk 4 TV, where we bring you educational information from top local experts in the fields of legal, health, financial, and home improvement. Now sit back and listen to experts in family law, association law, hearing loss, business brokers, home care, along with many other topics. Now here are your hosts, Steve-O and Sophia. Hey, good afternoon, DFW. Welcome to another Ask the Expert show where we bring you the top experts in the field of legal, health, financial, and home improvement. About three years ago, you asked us to add a show on personal injury law. And though there are a lot of personal injury attorneys in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, there's only a couple really fine firms and we were able to get one of those firms, the Mark Underwood firm. He is a personal injury attorney. He has been with us for the last three years. Today, he's not with us today, but hey, we got great stand-ins. We've got Natalie Hall and Jessica Boyd. Good evening. Good, good evening. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon. Can hey, you Steve. hear me? We can. Oh, hey, how are you doing? We're doing great. You know what? The, I guess we're so lucky we have two really well-educated women who are with the Mark Underwood firm. I'm so glad we have both of you. Tell us about Mark Underwood's firm and what you do. Well, we handle a lot of personal injury claims. We handle a lot of class actions, so security disability a little bit of criminal law, a little bit of family law. We're kind of a jack of all trades when it comes to that, but we do uh, what we do. We do it well. Um, Jessica Boyd and I are paralegals from Mark Underwood, and we're really excited to be here today. We're actually the fun ones, so we're kind of cool. <laughs> and we're here to answer all of your questions regarding personal injury. So Steve, I'll keep in mind, we're paralegals, not licensed attorneys. We're not going to give any legal advice, but we're pretty knowledgeable. So let's see what you got. <laughs> Okay, you set the rules. You got it. <laughs> you know, we are listen. We got you. We're very glad <laughs> to have both of you. And um, listen, I can't ask you a difficult question because even after three years with Mark, he answers everything so well. I just got to put a word out there, and he goes with it. So we got letters from listeners and viewers, and okay. I'm just I'm gonna. I give you, we'll start off with Greg in Plano. He wants to know, once a lawsuit is filed, is there any chance the case might still be settled before it's filed or once it's filed? Oh, absolutely. Um, most personal injury cases will likely settle out of court. Um, mediation is a great way to settle cases out of court. Mediation is when a neutral party called a mediator attempts to negotiate the settlement for both parties. We often send things called demand letters, which also kind of lead towards reaching a settlement prior to trial. Right. I hope that you answers great question. Go, I'm sorry, before I go any further, I want a lot of people don't know that you work on a contingency basis. Yes. Which means when they come in to sign with you, they don't have to write you a check. You actually work on performance. Right. We don't get paid unless we recover, uh, unless we recover money for them. And we pay, um, we pay costs up front most of the time. And so, no, they don't have to come in and uh, worry about, have to worry about paying attorney's fees and things like that up front. We do it on a contingent fee basis. So, a person who's in an auto accident, there's no excuse for not hiring an attorney. No, there's no excuse for not hiring us as their attorney. 
<laughs> None whatsoever. <laughs> you, you snuck that one, but it's true though. You know, absolutely. Don't do it on your purpose. own. It, don't do it on your own. It's not yeah. worth it. It's let us take care of it. It's a this, big headache. We've been doing this. It's what we do. It's what we do well. I've uh, discussed this with Mark on several occasions. My son, who lives in Dallas, was in an automobile accident, and he thinks he's the greatest salesperson on earth. So I, he wasn't going to hire an attorney when he could negotiate it in his mind himself. And I got to tell you, he will tell you today that he did, that was the dumbest thing he ever did that he knows there was so much money left on the table that yeah. here he was trying to save money and it ended up costing him. Yeah, I don't think that's uncommon, unfortunately. Well, let that be a lesson. No. If you're listening, call it, call us, call us yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what we the purpose of this is we want it to be a, a level playing field. Because yes. when you're in an accident, the insurance companies want to pay you the least amount possible. That's very true. And and when you're in an accident, things happen very quickly and things can get very confusing very quickly. And insurance companies, they want to swoop in very quickly, have you sign something and be done. And uh, you think they're helping you and they're not. Yeah. And for anyone who's not been involved in the legal process before, it can just seem very overwhelming and scary very quickly, no matter how confident they are going in. So it's always helpful to have people who have the experience needed to handle the insurance companies on your behalf. Well, you know, if you're in an accident, and for those who've never been in an accident, who have no knowledge, and it, ha it happens when we least expect it, what is the first thing to do? Hire the attorney? Or if you're injured, go to a doctor? Well, that's a great question. And I think one of your callers, one of your callers sent in a, a letter regarding that question. So we can, yes. we can answer that now or we can address it when we get to that question. It's up to you. But if you're injured, please go to a hospital and get treatment and uh, then give us a call. If you just have property damage, uh, you want to deal with your, you know, make sure your insurance company is aware and then their insurance company. And then if you have trouble getting any type of insurance to pay, you can give us a call, but absolutely. If you've been injured, give us a call. Absolutely. If you've been injured, give us a call. Yeah. You know, I, I know the laws are different here in Florida than they are in, in Texas. Um, my friend was hit from behind. I don't know if this is the same thing in Texas, but if you're hit from behind the person who hits you, it's automatically their fault and they did exchange driver's licenses but he left so by the time the police got there there was no one there to give a ticket to do they mail a ticket if you're in the wrong i don't know the answer to that question but yeah. they um they can trace the police if you have a copy of their driver's license uh, and their driver's license information and you give it to the police the police can track them down and make them liable for that accident. So I can, only assume, I can only assume that they would be cited for that. Yeah. Yes. Um, Kathy in Dallas wants to know what happens if a jury does not award the full amount of the medical bills? Who pays those bills? Whoa, this is a loaded question, which we get a lot. Okay. So let's start with the first part. So if a jury doesn't award the full amount of medical bills, there are several factors that can play into how the remaining bills can be paid. Um, so there's really not a specific response to this question, but the bottom line is you can't make a defendant, that's the party responsible for the accident, pay more than what a jury orders them to pay. However, if there's like an under insurance policy that the plaintiff might have available, the remaining medical bills could be paid with those funds. Again, each case could be a little bit different. So kind of depending is, on the case on how those can get paid. Is there an insurance policy, auto insurance policy that covers you in Texas for the uninsured motorist? 
There is. Um, most people, um, now if you're at fault, it's not that person's uninsurance that would cover. It would be your uninsurance. So if somebody hits you and it's not your fault and they don't have enough insurance to cover it and you have under insurance on your policy, it would be your under insurance that would kick in to pay the remainder should you need it. It's really a good idea to get that type of coverage, isn't it? Well, you know, I um, have really upped my insurance policy since working for an attorney. I actually just added it to mine. <laughs> I had not had it prior. And if one thing has been proven to me through working in this industry, it is make sure you are covered. <laughs> it's really, really important because most people, when they get insurance, they want the cheapest monthly benefit because insurance is very expensive. So they get, you know, they barely get policy limits that, you know, 20, 25,000 policy limits. Well, if you've got a hundred thousand dollars in medical bills, it's just not going to cut it. No. So, um, you know, I always recommend if you, you know, get, make sure you're covered in case somebody else isn't. So best, best advice you can give somebody is, is take a look at your own insurance policy and see what else you can do for yourself. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I bet you a lot of people don't know their entire policy until it's they too don't. late. They yeah. don't. And it's always a good idea to, to do as much as you possibly can. Um, I know it can get very expensive very quickly, but if you can save money somewhere else and put a little more towards your monthly insurance, I highly recommend you do that because when you need it, you'll thank yourself later. And you may never, I hope you never need it, to be honest with you. But when you do, I hope you have it. So you'll thank yeah, yourself really. when you need it. Absolutely. I've seen it so many times. Even with people I know, relatives, they're like, oh my gosh, if it hadn't been for my under insurance, I'd have nothing right now. They're right. They would have absolutely nothing if it hadn't, if they hadn't taken care of themselves. So it's a good idea to take a look at your insurance policies for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of people, you hear the word personal injury, but they don't know all that entails. For example, wrongful death is an area of personal injury. What are some of the areas of personal injury besides auto um, accidents and wrongful death? Sure, sure. You have slip and fall. So if you fall down, um, for example, if you're shopping somewhere and you fall down, if you are injured by a product. Um, if you are injured um, on somebody else's premises, uh, if you have, again, wrongful death, um, accidental dismemberment, um, there's lots of different types of personal injury that we handle. Um, dog bites, dog bites, cannibal yeah. exposure. Yeah, <laughs> there's lots, there's lots. Um, radiation exposure. Uh, we have we have quite the variety right now. So yes, wrongful death is, is personal injury. A uh, car accident seems to be like probably the main one that we have. Um, slip and falls, maybe probably come in maybe second dog bites. Like Jessica said, dog bites. Boating are... accidents, truck accidents, Absolutely. motorcycle accidents. Absolutely. Uh, there's a lot of different areas. And, you know, you said dog bites. A lot of people don't even realize that that's considered personal injury. Right. Yeah. Some people can find themselves in some really unfortunate situations and they don't really know that they can get help in those cases. You know, right. dog bites are definitely an area that we have we've seen a lot of clients come to Boating us. accidents, ATV accidents. I mean, yeah. the list can go on and on. Yeah. And some of them are just freak accidents you wouldn't think oh i can't get compensation for this and you can so and you know i think also if there's a break-in property damage yes yes that that as well so tell me and i i want you to be totally open why should i hire your firm you should hire our firm because we have experience and we're very good at what we do and we're very compassionate. We understand what you're going through. We've done every type of 
personal injury, social security disability, you name it, we've done it. So that kind of gives us the advantage to help you in the best way we can possibly help you. And that's what you want on your sign. You want experience. You want someone that understands what you're going through and knows what your outcome could be. And you definitely want a firm that's going to be able to get you the best possible outcome. In my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> it's so important who you hire. Uh, I'm going to go back many years ago when I did live in Dallas and we had the Ask the Expert show. We found this is in the Yellow Page days. Well, what is Yellow Pages? No one even <laughs> knows what those are anymore. But in the Yellow Page days, people would hire an attorney who ever had the biggest ad in the Yellow Pages. Yeah. And that was not a good way to hire an attorney. Now it's a lot of people hire an attorney whoever has the nicest website. And again, it should not be that way. And that's why we bring you a show like this. You know, God forbid you're in an automobile accident or a slip and fall. You don't have to worry about going to find who has the nicest website at. What we do with this show is we're bringing you the top attorney in personal injury and someone who's going to give you the service because there is so much service involved in your business. That's us. You just described us in a nutshell, Steve. I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> well, we love it's, it. It That's is why we're here. Important. There's a lot of law firms, big law firms. You see these ads on TV. And again, that's not the way to hire a law firm. Um, with you, with your firm, they actually work with attorney Mark Underwood, correct? They do. And another thing that Jessica and I wanted to do this today instead of reschedule is because you get us too. You work with Jessica, you work with me. Now you can put a, a face with the name. Um, cause you're, you're going to work with us. You're going to work with Mark and now you know like this is you know who the paralegals are you know who the attorney is and it's familiar we're family um and we're going to be the ones that you're going to talk to from start to finish and i think that's something that's more comforting to people than being transferred to 16 different people who have to say well wait a minute um i don't know anything about your case let me transfer you to so and so well wait a minute i don't right. i don't know who let me let me transfer you again hold on um let me take your name and number because i don't i don't know what, who you are and i don't know what's going on that is so frustrating. I do, you know, when I get a voicemail, when I get transferred, even, in, you know, checking my bank balance or something, man, I get mad. I'm like, gosh, really? <laughs> so it's comforting think, to know that the person that you're talking to is the person that can help you. So. I think because we get a lot of feedback around the country and people who have hired an attorney, uh, had a bad experience uh they would never get back with him and right. you know i'm not saying they have to get back with you you know that day it could be the next day but i know right. with your firm you do get back with everybody and that's really important when it comes to customer service it is and even if you call and you want to speak with mark if he's unavailable jessica i'll call you back i will call you back and if if, if and if you're still to the point where you say, look, thanks for calling me back, but I really want to talk to Mark. We'll get Mark, you know? Yeah. And we know sometimes it's just one of those comfort things where you just want to hear it from your attorney. Okay, that's okay. Um, but, you know, we're not going to leave you on somebody's voicemail. We're, we're going to make sure that someone speaks to you and make sure that you know what's going on. And another great thing about our firm is we have an online client portal. So you get to see everything we can see anything that goes out, anything that comes in. So you know what's going on with your case. So it's not going to be three months, four months go by and you're like, what is going on? I haven't heard anything. I don't know what's going on. I haven't seen right. anything. You're going to get notified that something's been put in the portal. Something's gone out from the portal. And that is such a convenience. Our clients love that. They love that they can just get a notification on a text or by email and they can say, oh, this came in. Oh, this went out. 
and they can put a little note in there saying, hey, thanks for sharing this. Hey, thanks for letting me know this went out. Um, and that keeps them in the know. And they love that. They love that. So it's a huge, it's a huge relief to a lot of people. So. Well, Natalie touched on it, but we keep in touch with our clients through so many different formats, like not only from calling them over the phone and having them call us, we do Zoom meetings with them when we need to up, do updates, email, text message, client portal messages. Like we are pretty much always in contact. So I know well, we have to we have to mention somebody else because I work with her directly is we got to give Cynthia credit too. Oh, we love Cynthia. Oh. <laughs> Cynthia's the best. Love Cynthia. <laughs> she's our favorite human no, ever. <laughs> the sweetest. No, human she's ever. Uh, been my contact for years and she's wonderful. I mean, she's yes. always on the ball. Listen to me sucking up now. No, it's not. <laughs> you, 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 nah. could, you couldn't be more right. Um, she fills so many roles in this office and she is incredibly helpful. Like she is the one who is going to keep you on track and remember things that like. <laughs> keeps us running like a well-oiled machine. We don't yeah. know what we would do without her. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. We just got our first text. They want to know, they, they want to know, I'm in Arlington. Do you have Zoom if I hire you? Absolutely. Yep. We have clients that are in, you know, Houston area, San Antonio, El Paso, all over the state of Texas. So we use a lot of different options to keep in touch with our clients who are even, you know. And like I said, I'm I'm in our West Virginia office. So we're, you know, I have we have clients in West Virginia, Ohio, Kentucky, uh, all over the state of Texas. I mean, we have technology that can connect all of our firms so what did we ever do with that without zoom i know <laughs> well i i guess you've noticed this has gone by very fast let's give everybody your phone number for both offices as well Absolutely. as your website yeah well our website is www.underwoodlawoffice.com and our mckinney texas office number is 972 five three five six three seven seven and if you want to call our west virginia office it's three oh four five two two zero five zero eight and i'll give you a little hint you can call either number and it all comes to the same person like us so um, we've kind of combined our phone lines so you're going to get us no matter which number you call but um we'd love to hear from you so any questions you want to throw at us just call us up we'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys got you you both did wonderful. Yay. I, I hope you'll come back on again. And Anytime. Thank you so much. We love your firm. Great. Thank you. Thank Steve. you, ladies. It was so nice to meet you. You did great. And we're going to be right back. We're going to go to a break. We come back. We're going to be talking about weight loss. We'll be right back. And we are back with the Ask the Expert show on W4CY Radio and Talk4 TV with your hosts, Steve-O, Sophia, and their expert guests. And we are back. Uh, our next show, they've been with us uh, a couple years now. And I got to tell you, it is so nice doing this show. Uh, this is our, our weight loss show, and we're here with uh, Dr. Gamboa. Here she is. Hey, Hi, Dr. Gamboa. How Good. How are you? We're doing wonderful. We got so many questions since we last saw you from uh, people who watched the show. And I don't even have to share them with you. You just do it right <laughs> off the top of your head. Uh, your clinic elite, and I got to tell you, it is the perfect name for your clinic elite because <laughs> it you. is. Thanks How have you been? Me. Good. How about yourself? Been busy, very busy. And I, Dr. Gamboa, I got to tell you, everybody wants to know about the injection. Everybody. Of course. Of course. Do you find that in your practice? 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. Like, and they, they come here. I mean, it's a wonderful tool that we have in our, in our toolbox to help people because for the longest, we didn't really have a lot of a very successful treatments for obesity, you know? Obviously, like, there's no magic pill, no magic injection. I already yeah. mentioned that many times because even if I give you the best injection in the world, the me best uh, medication, if you don't change your habits, if you don't help me out with a little bit of exercise, and eating healthier, then there's nothing is going to happen, you know, and you're just going to be as frustrated as you started and with less money because you're going to spend money if your insurance doesn't cover them. So it's always better to like try to eat healthier and, and I cannot expect or I'm not asking the patients to change everything overnight because this is a habit thing. It's been doing this for years. So we have to little by little like meet where the patient is at. You know, like, let's say, like, they are night shifters or or you're being used to drinking your Coke, like, every single day and this becoming a habit. So little by little, we have to change and break those habits. And, you know, the good thing about these injections, like the newest one on the blog, if I may uh, say the brand name, is Zebound. And this one is a combination of two peptides. And, and why is it more effective than the other one that it was only a single peptide? Because this one works not only at the level of the hormones of the hunger, but also at the level of the satiety, but also helps you with your insulin resistance, which the previous ones didn't do much about it. So now this is a game changer for everyone and, it, and they see the results. And also it's been showing that it's helping at the level of the brain. And that's why like I've been reading some articles that they're trying to see if these injections will help people with addictions and see if it will help them. Because again, it works at that level. And I don't know if you heard something about food noise and that's something that I've been seeing and hearing from my patients in social media that these medications decrease that food noise that they have in their brains. You know, they're no longer thinking, oh, what's going to my next meal going to be? Or what? I, I just finished eating breakfast. I'm going to think about having what I'm going to have for dinner. So and it decreases their food noise and, and it helps with that. So there's a lot of hope. And, and again, it's it's wonderful tools that we have now to help people with obesity. You know, um, first of all, tell people about Elite Care Clinic. Sure. Like Elite Care Clinic is a clinic that not only is going to take care of all your needs, like we do like primary care and we also do wellness. Um, and that's how I like to approach the patient about everything. It's not only one thing, you know, like we have to take care of everything. And we do family medicine. Mostly I'm trained uh, in family medicine. We, I also do a lot of wellness and, and hormones. And also like I'm starting to do some like cosmetic procedures along with that because everything goes together. If you're feeling good, then you want to look good. Yes, absolutely. You know, Dr. Gambo, I'm going to say this. And I, I really mean it from the heart. You know, it's good to have a doctor that is very knowledgeable. But when it comes to you, what I've noticed about you, you really care about your patients. And that is not always that way with all doctors. I'm going to tell you that. But it's just Thanks. so obvious that you really care about your patients. That's, you know, like what I try to do, especially nowadays in this medi medicine world or medical world, if you want to call it that, everything is becoming a corporation, unfortunately, and, and you become a number, you know, and, and that's the sad part because medicine yes. is not like a drive through that you're just going to go like spend 15 minutes with the doctor, out you are in the door, and then here's your medication, like, like in, if it's having from a vending machine, I mean, that's not how it is. Like everything nowadays is transactional and, and I hate that, you know, like it has to be more personalized. And that's why I also chose the name personalized care because we're losing that. That's very uh, from the old school part, because again, everything now it's more corporation transactional type and, and it has to change because we're not a number. We are a person. Uh, we're a, a, someone that has the disease. We don't only treat the disease but we try the person that has the disease, you know, so that's what we try to do as much as possible. Well, I wanted, that's why I, I love your practice. 
Um, I want to get back to the injections. So I, which I've shared with you before, first of all, mm -hmm. since our show is in Florida, uh, Dr. Gamboa is in uh, Irving, Texas. Um, I take the injection and I go, I have to go through my nephrologist because I get a really special price through my insurance because I have kidney problems mm -hmm. and I've been taking it now for a month. I've had no side effects, Dr. Gamboa, none. And it actually works. I want yes. people so to know. Probably you know really yes. Probably you notice like that your appetite is going to be less. You're going to get fuller faster. So always I tell the patients to please listen to your body signals. Whenever you're full, stay away from the plate because if you eat just a tiny bit more, it's like, oh, this is like a delicious burger or um, that's going to happen. That's going to cause problems for you. You're going to feel sick to your stomach. You're going to feel that your food is on your, like, like really like you're feeling full and sometimes you may throw up. Um, and that's why we don't yeah. want best to cause to the patients. I got to tell you, I look at food totally different now. Uh, there's yeah. times that it's like, oh, food. But I know I have to eat something, though. Yeah. But it's it really, I mean, you know what, Dr. Gimbo, there's all these pills they talk about out there. And I think I tried almost all of them. None of them work as well as, as this injection. I mean, I'm on a different one, and I think this, is it called Zep Pound that you like? Yeah, so that's the one that, um, it's basically like Zep Pound is ter, uh, tercebatide, and that's the generic for also Monjaro. Monjaro is the FDA-approved version of tercebatide for diabetics. The Zep Pound is the tercebatide version of the uh, approved for the weight loss only. I mean, they couldn't call the same medication for two different um uh, um, applications or uh, yes. applications. So that's why they had to change the name. But it's the same molecule, it's the same thing. And that's the one I was telling you that is a little bit more effective than the previous one because there are two peptides involved. And one of the peptides work a little bit more towards the uh, insulin resistance. So that's why they are being very effective and they work. So that's that's yeah. that's why this is very, um, this is a game changer for, for obesity treatment. Where do you suggest people take the injection, their abdomen or leg? Well, I have like, I think most of my patients, like they like to do it in their abdomen. They say that okay. they don't feel it there. Um, and some of my patients, they have tried in the arm. They have, they have pain in the arm a little bit more. And also because they have to be only with more, one hand versus holding with the other hand and helping you with the other. The leg, I uh, patients, they can still uh, do it. Some of the patients like it there. Some of the patients have a little bit more sensitivity and they, they prefer not to do it. So it's, it varies. Well, I don't want you to laugh, Dr. Zambo, but I hate needles, hate them. I mean, I'm the biggest baby only with, <laughs> when it comes to needles. And I gotta tell you, I don't feel a thing. When I yes. give the injection in my stomach, I don't feel anything. I have to look down to make sure it's actually in. Yes, and that's what happens. Like they, they made a really good um, design, the companies, because you don't see the needle, and that's also a safety feature. So you don't see it. It's an auto injector, and then you go ahead and you just wait for the click, and then wait a, a couple of seconds, and then the second click, and you're done. So that's also helped for patients. No offense, Steve, but most of the guys hate needles. <laughs> and they are little babies. I mean, I'm no offense to anyone listening. I'm so sorry, but that's a little truth. Um, but um, but this helps them because they don't see the actual needle and, and it's, it's really uh, very helpful. And the other thing that I want yeah. to mention whenever you said you don't feel much. So also like sometimes patients may need a higher dose to feel more effects you know so don't be discouraged if you are in the lowest dose that's 2.5 and you're like yes. oh i didn't feel anything uh this is like putting water 
uh, don't feel discouraged. Don't feel like, oh, no, this is not working for me. No, like it's going to work. So some patients are going to be more sensitive to the doses than others, like with anything in this world. Like some patients are going to need two pills of Benadryl to have the same effect versus one. And some pay people with half of the Benadryl is going to be sleeping. So the same exact thing. So if you need some patients, I had the experience that some patients were doing perfect with 2.5 or 5. They were like, oh, my gosh, I, I barely can eat like what you were telling me. But there are, there are patients that they are in the 7.5 or 10 and they are starting to feel the the, the, the symptoms and, and the effects of the medication. So please don't be um, discouraged, like this will work. And um, just like continue doing what you're doing, retrain your brain to eat whenever you're feeling hungry. Even though this medication blunts your hunger hormone, try to make an effort to put an alarm or like to, to eat a little bit like a very good snack, like protein. You know, because if you don't eat for long periods of time, you're going to feel sick to your stomach as well. You're going to have dizziness. You're going to feel yes. nauseated. You're going to have headaches. So you definitely have to eat smaller portions, make adjustments, because if you eat very greasy food or the ones that you used to eat, oh, my gosh, you're going to pay for it the next day. Or if you eat a lot of spicy food. So you have to be tweaking depending on how you do, because people that love spicy food, it's going to have heartburn. Remember, these medications are going to make your food stay longer in your stomach. It's going to take double the time for your stomach to empty its contents. So you have to be conscious about that, and that's why you have to like decrease the spice, decrease the, the, the foods that they make too much bloating or fermentation or gas, because you're not going to be comfortable. And I don't want you to, to say, oh, my gosh, this is making me sick. I'm going to stop doing it. Right. No, like. Just adjust your 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 uh, habits, and you're gonna do really good. You know something else. I think people need to realize you've got to be patient um, because this isn't like overnight you're gonna lose forty pounds. It just exactly. doesn't work that way. And also, <laughs> and it you would have probably to... be sick. But I'm losing about two pounds a week. Yeah, and that's about that's about right. You know, I tell my patients, mostly females, females, we are like we suck at weight loss. And then probably everyone will will agree with me because we have all the hormones and everything uh, in between. But at least like five pounds uh, a month, like that's usually what I see with my female uh, female uh, patients. But if they are, let's say, like the husband is like doing the weight loss, they hate the husband because the husband lost twice as much as they did doing the same thing and doing their exactly the same, you know? So that's the thing. So females like give or take five pounds, but it, sometimes they can do eight pounds. So remember, as Steve said, like this is not ha going to happen overnight. You also need to think about, you have years of accumulating this weight. I mean, you cannot expect yes. to just in a year, just shed all the, the pounds. And also you have to re remember this. You have to give time for your body to get adjusted to the new weight. So you're always going to have a plateau. You're always going to have that area that it's your body sensing what is new to it. Because remember what I mentioned like in my very first episodes, how your body gets adjusted is the metabolic adaptation. So anytime your body is going to feel that it's losing fat, weight, then it's going to do everything in its power to bring it back. So you have to give your body some time to get adjusted to the new weight. Well, one, two, three. We have four texts that all basically say they're different people, but they all basically say the same thing. Great show. We love your show. Thank I want you. to know I do not have any health issues. But I do need to lose weight. Is it safe to take the injections if you don't have any previous health issues? If you are in the category of like overweight, so like your BMI is 27 and you say that you're completely no like uh, problems. So it will be hard for the insurance to cover 
this medication if it's covered because you don't have a chronic condition if your in the body mass index is less than 30. If your body mass index is more than 30, it doesn't matter. You don't need to have a chronic condition. That's what we're trying to prevent, right? So like if you have a BMI of 30 or more, you can get it covered and um, you don't need a chronic condition. But if your BMI is less than 30 and it's 27 or more, but you, you have to have a chronic condition in order for the insurance to cover these medications. But, but is it safe, safe, Dr. Gimbo? Yes, it's safe to use in patients that they don't have diabetes. In fact, that's why the Z-Bound was only studied in patients that did not have any diabetes, did not have any chronic conditions. It's only for the purpose of weight loss. You know, so, and, and nowadays, I don't know if you heard, but um, the injections are safe enough and also give you the benefits. Not, not this new one, because this one is an ongoing um, uh, research that is, is testing to see if it's going to give us some cardiovascular benefit or decrease our risk for cardiovascular events, meaning heart attacks or strokes. So the previous one, Wegovy, already came out that they have like a cardiovascular benefit, meaning that they're going to help decrease the risk for uh, cardiovascular events, you know, and that's, that's why it's getting uh, more popular now, because like I read some article that if they have this, then Medicare probably will cover it because it's giving that benefit of the decrease on cardiovascular dis uh, risk. So that's great because like that's great news. At least we are going in the right direction. Uh, Medicare will start covering this to decrease your risk for more problems, which makes sense. So that's where we are right now. I got to tell you that I do, I do have Medicare. And I cannot believe the difference in Medicare not covering it and Medicare covering it. I was yeah. shocked. There's a huge, huge difference. Oh, yeah. Um, what about how long do you have to be on the injection? This is a very good question. Because what happens is, like, just remember that obesity is a chronic disease. And we have to treat it as such. So by chronic, I mean that it's not overnight that you gain the weight. And also like, so that means that you're not going to be on this medications only for a month or two, like just to lose what you wanted and then you're gonna stop it. No, this is a process. This is a lifelong um, commitment that you have to do because this is for the rest of your life, for your yeah. health. So you have to, to, to see this. Obviously, I don't like to tell my patients, oh, you're gonna be on this for life because that's not the, the point. The point is that you also have to help. So we have to be this long term because we have to let your body adjust itself. And hopefully we may have the body reset the metabolic set point. So at some point, your body is not going to fight you back to get that. Uh, that that's in theory like that, that way back. But you have to think that this has to be a long term relationship. It's not only for a little bit. This has to be uh, also like you have to do it under a medical um, supervision because then once you get to your healthy weight, then you have to talk to your doctor and have come up with a plan to maintain your weight. Then you have to maintain your weight for like a period of time, let's say a year, and then little by little taper down your medications. But once you hit that healthy weight, that like you're good with that and maintain it for some time. And so that's why it's so important that increasing protein in your diet and also resistant exercises. Resistance is going to help you form muscle mass, maintain your weight, and that's going to help you in the long run. I had a, uh, a caller who saw our promotion for this show tell me that Oprah Winfrey is no longer a, a spokesperson for Weight Watchers and that she is on the injection. Yeah, so that was a big she thing. she does a lot of research. <sighs> yeah, so this was a big thing that, like, weight, um, Oprah for the longest was on the Weight Watchers um, advisory yes. and all that, you know. But um, now then she realized, and I think that in the long run, it's going to be a marriage between the, the, um, the injections and Weight Watchers or any other, like, weight loss. Because, again, this is a long, lifelong thing. So we have to also develop plans to maintain the weight. 
you know, remember, it's not only losing it, but then after losing it, we have to maintain it. So then I think there's yes. going to be, like, um, again, a marriage between the injections and, and Weight Watchers or Weight Watchers have to do like a different thing because they have to be able to help the people maintain their weight with their points and everything. So because the patients are have to maintain a certain level of calories and everything. But I think at, at some point there's going to be like a merge uh, with this too because they need each other, you know. So that's, that's how it's going to be, I think. My final question, again, this is from another person who loves your show, wants to know, they apparently they live in Mesquite, Texas, mm -hmm. and your office is far from them. Can, can, do you have telemedicine? We do have telemedicine. And you know, always what I like, I know it's, it's far, but maybe if you can commit to come maybe once every three um, months or so, like to like, check you in person like your blood pressure and everything and also like uh, i like to do the scan that i have that checks for the muscle mass like the uh body tissue calculates your like body um uh, the basal metabolic rate so the rest we can do with telehealth so so that's how like i usually have the patients if they live far so we at least once every three or every six months in person and the rest we can do telehealth monitoring everything how it's going and then that's another option that we can do well dr gambo i can't tell you how much we appreciate you giving up part of your busy day to come on and answer these questions you are the best just give everybody your phone <laughs> number you. and your website of course thank you steve for always having me like the website is elite care clinic uh, elitecare-clinic.com and then the phone number is 469-947-6020 dr gamboa elite care clinic she'll be back again with us next month and thank carol for us too <laughs> thank you you guys too like and keep it up i'm going to keep up tracking your your um your progress steve <laughs> I will do that. Thanks, Dr. Gamboa. Bye. Take care. Thank Bye. you. That's uh, Dr. Gamboa of the Elite Care Clinic in Irving. Um, I know a lot of people are interested in these injections. I got to tell you, uh, this is not an ad for the injections, but I'm on them. And they're working. And um, Dr. Gamboa, this is one of her specialties. So give her a call at 469-947-6020. That's it for us today. We'll be back with you again next week with more Ask the Experts. Thanks for tuning in today to the Ask the Experts show on W4CY Radio and Talk 4 TV. Tune in next week and every week to hear more from our experts on personal injury, insurance, air condition repairs, estate planning, Medicare, and many other topics in the areas of legal, health, financial, and home improvement. See you next week.